originally I planned on making just a one part video of how to disassemble and clean the AK-47, this being specifically our AK-47 Classic by O'Reilly Defense, but I, at the time, didn't know how to clean the bolt carrier group and take it apart, clean the firing pin and all that, and it turned out to be quite a longer process than I thought, and I wanted to keep the runtime for both videos shorter than that, so I decided to do just uh, everything but the bolt carrier symbol cleaning video which I already did, and then this is going to be part two, just the bolt carrier group, the firing pin and all that. So let's go ahead and get this thing taken apart, and then I will switch over to a close-up view so you guys can see what's going on. This way, if you look at it, it's going to be coming from there to there, so you know the right direction. And I'm going to the punch in there and just kind of push it's kind of hard to do it's a little stiff with this one I noticed so I had to kind of just use leverage and kind of loosen it a little bit tapping down there we go in the video I watched how to do this he was able to just push it out by hand so I was almost tempted to kind of sand this down a little bit to loosen it up but I was worried that would damage it in some way and I didn't want to take that risk so I just had to use a little muscle grease okay so that is out so now the firing pin will drop right out which it did so the firing pins out and that retaining pin is out right there so now let's go on to this other one which this is a kind of an angle so it's a little tricky so we'll flip over and you're going to want to punch it out from this direction starting on this side and this one I noticed was a little smoother than the other one I might be able to just push this one but you also while you push this out you want to hold down on the ejector because there's a spring in there and it might pop out so let's go ahead and push and yeah see that one just came out by hand pull that out a little more Okay, so it's released the ejector now. It's past that point. There's the ejector and the spring. So we'll set those there. And then get that pin out the rest of the way. Alright. So now we got the pins out. The ejector and the ejector spring and the firing pin. So now, we're going to want to just clean this out like we normally would. But one thing that is very important you can put oil on this area to clean it as well as in here but you don't want to leave any of that oil behind it needs to be completely dried when you're done as well as with the firing pin and as well with the ejector so you can oil them to clean them but they need to be bone dry when you reassemble it because there's no reason for there to be moisture in there so just take this brush and just kind of loosen that up in there, all that gunk. Now I cleaned this ahead of time so I knew how to do it properly and quickly so it's not very dirty, but I left a little bit of gunk in there. So, okay. Got that cleaned. Get these notches cleaned here. And basically just the whole outside of the bolt carrier group. Just going to get all that. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and get in there with a cotton swab. See, there's still some gunk in there even after I cleaned it. I didn't do a thorough cleaning, just a quick kind of learning cleaning. Okay, so and then you also are going to want to clean the inside, the housing for the firing pin. Now ideally you want cotton swabs that are longer than this, but I have these that are almost long enough, but not all the way long enough, so 
just gonna have to deal with it. Get that area cleaned out. Let's put a little oil in there as well. Get that oil out. Okay, kind of get in there again. And then I did notice after removing the pins once, they're a little easier now. And I also lubricated where the pins go, the retaining pins. Okay, so now on to the ejector. Now, in the video I watched, it said if you're having problems with ejection, the one spot you're going to want to clean out really good is this spot and that spot. And to do that... You're going to want to use, I like to use these plastic picks because they won't do any cosmetic damage to the metal and just kind of loosen up all that built up grit and grime. Come on, focus. On both of those notches right there. And then once you got it loosened up using that, you're going to get in here. And then you're going to hit all those with the brush. I'll probably use the smaller side of the brush for this channel there. No, I usually wear gloves, but since I'm just doing the bolt carrier group, I figured it wasn't that big of a deal. One other thing you can do is if you don't have gloves, you can kind of set it in a sock, like I like to use, and just kind of go like that. Okay, so that's probably good. Let's get this part now. Let's get that with the Q-tip. Put another little drop of oil in there also. I'm using CLP. That's what I usually use for these smaller parts. I also have a spray, which I believe is also... No, I think it's hops. I use a hops oil spray, which works nice. But since these are smaller parts, I figured using that little dropper would be good enough. Okay, so the ejector is good now. Okay. Now we can do the firing pin. Now since we are using these smaller parts now, I'm going to just put them all in the sock here. And spray them down. Pops Elite Gun Cleaner. I believe it's about $7.99 at Walmart. I really likes, like this stuff. It works great for small parts like this. So, Okay, we got those all in the sock. Let's just give them a good coating on both sides. Alright. Now we'll just kind of loosen everything up using this. Getting the firing pin on both sides. So for these AK firing pins, I didn't know this till I disassembled it, but this side is the tip that strikes the cartridge, igniting the gunpowder, and then the other end is flat, slotted like that. That's the end the hammer hits. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So we'll call that good. And then just kind of the same with the retaining pins. Just kind of brush them off. The retaining pins weren't very dirty to begin with, so you just kind of lube them up so they go in and out easier when you're going to remove this and then the spring 
just kind of get that a little bit. I don't think that was very dirty either. Okay, so that's about it. Now let's get everything dried off nice and good. Like I was saying, we don't want any of this to be wet or have any moisture on it. Let's actually get a clean Q-tip and get the inside of here where the ejector and the spring are housed. where the firing pin is housed. Just make sure it's all dry. Get all that oil, excess oil out of there. Okay. So now for the reassembly. Okay, so we got our bolt. Now take the bolt carrier group out. You just spin it clockwise until it just slides right out. Okay. So now one of the reasons why I wasn't able to film this section yet was these pins right here. You need the either a AK-47 disassembly tool or you need a punch that's about that big, very small, to get these two pins out. And yeah, you basically take out this first pin here, which is holding in the firing pin itself, which that's where the firing pin hits the hammer right there and then that's the actual firing pin itself right there that strikes the cartridge and ignites the gunpowder so the first pin is here and that's going to be coming out from there to there like that and then the second one which is the tricky one is this one right here and it's kind of at like a funky 45 degree angle see there and it has to be turned at a certain angle to get the pin to the spring pin to go in and hold the ejector here with the ejector spring. And so that's why this is a little trickier and takes a little more time. And it's not something I mean I've put probably fifteen hundred to two thousand rounds through my Riley Defense AK so far. And this is the first time I've ever cleaned cleaned this part, taken out actually the firing pin and cleaned it. Before I just kind of did a cosmetic clean on the outside and everything like that, but I never actually took the pins out and removed the firing pin, so it's not something you have to do every time, although if you can, it's not going to hurt. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into how to take this thing apart. Okay, so now to put the firing pin back together, the first thing you're going to want to do is put the spring back in the ejector, put it in, so it's following the curve of the circle, see, so that would be twisted that way a little bit, and to get the pin to go in all the way, you have to push down on the spring, allowing that to go into the hole and hold it in place. So to do that, I push down with my thumb, and then I get it going in, and I use this plastic brush because it won't damage the metal, and push it in enough to where it's, see, now it's staying in place, so now I can do it the rest of the way. Okay, so we'll get it almost, almost all the way in, okay. So, another thing, which is kind of tricky about this, is for this to go in the right way so it's not obstructing the other pin, this line right here has to be f flush with that, so straight across. And so the trick I learned in that video was to take a pair of needle nose pliers very gently turn it so it's level just like that and then push it in the rest of the way because if you don't it will obstruct the other pin when you go to put the firing pin in and see it, even then it turned on me a little bit and you can see the pin obstructing so let's push it back out 
Okay, so I don't know if this is common on all AKs, but it seems like when you push it in, it rotates clockwise just a smidge. So, to counteract that, you're going to want to get it turned probably probably that much, so it's a little bit out of whack. And then it should rotate into place. I'm not sure if it does that on all AKs or if just the Riley is like that. And you can see how far of an angle I got it at there. Now let's push it in. And see now, it's for the most part flat. Now let me check and see if there's obstruction. And there's no obstruction, so that's good to go. So now we are ready to put the firing pin in. Okay, so another important part of putting the firing pin back in is when you put the firing pin in, it needs to go like this. So this ledge on the firing pin. See how there's a little ledge right there? That needs to go in that way. So that way, when you push it in, that ledge creates the perfect space for the retaining pin to go into. Okay, so I pushed the pin into the correct position, and I visually checked to see if there was no obstruction, and there isn't. So now I'm going to go ahead and push the retaining pin in. Okay, there. Now that's going to stop the firing pin from moving out of whack. Now I'm going to use this plastic brush again to push that the rest of the way in. See, I got it almost all the way. It's sticking out just a little bit. Now I'm going to do the last little bit. Yeah, see how tricky that is with this one? The video I watched, the guy was able to just do it with his hands, so maybe it just kind of gets smoother over time. But there you go. The bolt carrier group, the firing pin, has been cleaned and reassembled. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And also, don't forget to check out part one, which covers how to clean and reassemble the rest of the AK-47 that we didn't cover tonight, which was the bolt carrier group. It shows you how to clean all the rest of the rifle and how to put it back together. So go ahead and check that out. Clicking this link here. Well, thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your night.